Today you're gonna learn how to make a credit roll in Adobe Premiere Pro. I use this in just about every film I've ever made, including my most recent horror comedy film, Val, which I'd be remiss if I didn't mention will be available everywhere to rent on October 5th, 2021. It's a crazy weird wild ride and I'm super excited that it's finally coming out after all this time. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive into it. Cineguac. Assuming we want our credit roll to take place over a black background, first thing we want to do is go down here to new item and select black video. Hit OK, and drag our black video layer to the timeline. Next, we want to go to the graphics workspace, enlarge our screen a bit, and select the type tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and let's type in credit roll. Here we can adjust the font, so let's change it to something a bit more fancy. And we can increase the size and then center it perfectly in frame. Next, let's move up here and deselect the text layer we just created by clicking in this gray area so that we are now presented with all these new options below. And you'll see right here, we can select Roll. The moment we do that, if we scrub through our clip, you'll notice the text now automatically begins at the bottom of the frame and rolls to the top. And it lasts for the duration of the clip on the timeline. So let's just go back to the middle of our clip so that we can see what we're typing. And with our type tool selected, we can go ahead and create our next line of text. Director, and I'll put my name, Aaron Fratkin. We can enlarge this again, adjust the spacing if you need, center it, and play around with the positioning. And when we play all that back, both text layers will now roll in tandem. Of course, at any time, we can just click on any of our text layers and add more if we want. This film will also be starring Aaron Fradgen. There we go. Now, just in case you want to add a logo or image or something other than text, we can go back up here. You'll see we have two separate text layers we've made so far. Let's go ahead and click on New Layer and select From File. Here I have my production company's logo, Social House Films, which I can select, and that'll automatically import the image into our credit roll sequence. You'll see it now exists in our project bin as well. And let's adjust the size and position. Play that all back, and there we have it. Now it's moving a bit fast, so to slow it down, all we have to do is extend the credit sequence layer however far we want. And when we play that back, it now moves a lot slower, basically just lasting the duration of the clip. And of course, you can add as many text layers and images as you want. This is what my film's credit sequence looks like. It's a lot of stuff going on. And once again, if you want to check out the film, it's called Val, and it'll be available everywhere to rent on October 5th, 2021. Hope you enjoyed that video. As always, if you found this at all helpful, show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. What? <laughs>